Hi, everybody. Uh, welcome to uh, our uh, and uh, ATF and uh, uh, APRI webinar. Uh, we we are hoping to to uh, engage and highlight the what it is uh, uh, interventional radiology here in Portugal, and in this way try to um, get uh, to the mainly to the uh, medical students and to the first years uh, residents uh, to how it works and what what it is uh, um, interventional radiology. Some years after, after me having radiology in medical school and on social media, I saw this post and I was like, wow, uh, I got really curious. I didn't know really well what was interventional radiology. And this was a great way and a great chance to attend their international congress and learn more about IR as a medical student. Another tip is to be aware of some initiatives to help you do rotations abroad. For instance, uh, Cersei Foundation provides with the, foundation, the fellowship uh, grant program to which you can apply to do a rotation in an European center of your choice. Um, right now, the 2024 funding cycle has already closed, but I highly suggest trying for the next batch of grants. These are some of the recommended training centers, uh, as I've mentioned, uh, and two of them are Portuguese. I already talked about them. Again, uh, Villa Nova de Gaia and Hospital Curri Cabral in Lisbon. And uh, as I've said, I was lucky to, to be participating right now in a two-month rotation here in Athens, in Atikon University Hospital. So there's plenty of recommended training centers, and you should stay tuned, see, see the requirements, contact the recommended centers, and try to get into one of these fellowships, and it's, it's very worth it, of course. Let's go to the big room. Uh, this is all where all the fun happens. We have, uh, as I explained, uh, a, a, an equipment that combines CT and angiography, as you can see here, the angiography arm and the CT. And here is the table where the patient is, um, is lied down during the procedures. This table goes up and down. Um, and we also have the ultrasound to help us during the procedures if it's needed. Also, in the outer uh, zone of this room, we have like a control uh, room where the technicians operate um, and uh, work with the images, uh, almost all, always um, CT images when we acquired CT. And, and um, they can um, manipulate the images that we are seeing here in this monitor during the procedure. <laughs> 